Okay, we're recording. Welcome to the webinar, guys. My name is Eric Johnson, creator of TeamZ. I am super excited to be with you guys tonight. Tonight is gonna to be a real nuts and bolts kind of training, okay? And some of you guys have been on some of my other trainings, and I love to go deep into the philosophical ins and outs. Tonight, we're just gonna do nuts and bolts. I'm gonna take you into the app. I'm gonna show you how to set it up. I'm gonna show you how to slay your business. Honestly, guys, if you guys just do what I'm gonna show you tonight, your businesses are going to boom, okay? So that's a guarantee. It's like, it's gonna work for you. You just gotta do it. I wanna tell you guys a couple things just before I jump into the app. I wanna explain a couple things because I know I've got people on here that are in free trials. We've got people who are using it. We've got people who've never used it and they've been invited to tonight's call. First thing I want you to know, if you have not tried TeamZ yet, you can go to teamz.com and get a free 30-day trial. No strings attached, no credit cards needed, nothing like that. We believe so strongly in the 30-day trial. We honestly believe if you use this for 30 days, it will absolutely transform your business and you'll want to keep it. So we will always give you a free 30-day trial. It's not nothing that we're, we want you to use it for 30 days. Okay, so go do that. I want to explain something to you guys coming on about what Teamsy is and what it isn't. First of all, some of you guys may think this is some new tracking tool for your business. And yeah, it, it, it does that, but the problem with tracking is that it's looking in the rear view mirror. It's looking in the rear view mirror. What you need is something that helps drive you forward proactively, that drives you to do the things you need to do every day that's going to help you build your business. Teamsy is more than a tracking tool, it's a lead generation tool, okay? It's designed to help you generate leads. Now, I know you hear the term lead generation all the time. So let me explain to you what I mean by lead generation because I'm gonna drip this on you guys throughout this presentation tonight that it's all about relationships. Some of you guys may not agree with that and that's totally cool, but this is where I'm coming from. And this is what Teamsy is built upon. It's built upon relationships. So what is lead generation? Here's a definition of lead generation. Some of you guys might wanna write this down because I think you'll wanna share it with your teams. Lead generation is this. It's meeting new people, and it's deepening your relationships with existing people that you already know. That's what lead generation is. Lead generation is meeting new people and deepening the relationships you already have. So when we do lead generation work in our business, which we have to do every day, right? You get to do, I mean, you get a cheat day. It's like nutrition. You can have a cheat day, but you have to do it all the time. It's to meet new people and to deepen relationships with the people that we already have. I'm clarifying that for you guys because I want you to know that if your attitude is, I'm doing it so that I can recruit or so that I can sell, people are gonna get that from you, okay? And yeah, you can be successful that way, but you leave a lot of bodies on the floor, okay? Another thing I wanna address before I jump into this is the whole concept of I've been through my warm market. Guys, the only way you can go through your warm market is if you are like cold inviting them and they say no and you throw them away. I mean, are you kidding me? Would you walk up to somebody and ask them to marry you randomly? Or even just ask them for a date? No, of course not. You're gonna introduce yourself. You're gonna have a conversation. You're gonna learn about them. You're not just gonna like walk up to somebody and go, are you interested? Oh, you're not, I'm, I'm gone. So this is, these are concepts I want you guys to know. You can't go through a warm market. Because if you're building bridges and not burning them, you'll never, those people will constantly love you. They'll constantly come back. They, you know, they may not be ready today. They may never be ready, but they will become a referral source for you. Okay, so I just wanted to get that out of the way. This is a lead generation tool, and we define lead generation as meeting new people and deepening the relationships with the people you already know. So now let me show you how Teamsy's gonna help you do that. First, let's jump over to Teamsy. Okay. So you're looking at my Teamsy dashboard. I'm gonna show you real quick how to set this thing up. Some of you guys have already done this. Some of you may have gotten stuck in this part. And I want you to know we've tried to make this as easy as possible, okay? So the first time you come into this, you'll be inside a setup wizard. And um, if, you, if you got rid of that wizard, you don't know where to find it, it's right here on this little cogwheel. You can launch it, okay? So there we go, setup wizard. So this just makes it really easy to set up. I'm gonna breeze through this really fast, okay? Because I don't wanna spend a lot of time on it but I just wanna show you guys quickly how to do it. So the first thing we're gonna do is set a goal. 
Okay, just set an income goal. It's just a number, just pick a number, right? I have 150,000 as my goal. This is the income level I would want for my business 12 months from now, okay? Now, some of you guys are making, you know, you're, some of you guys are super studs and you're making three, four, five hundred thousand dollars already in your business. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to put down the amount of new business you're gonna generate in the next 12 months, okay? So for those of you guys who are like superstars, 10 star diamonds, whatever, you're gonna put in the number of what of the new business you're gonna generate. Everyone else, this is the income level you wanna be at next year, okay? So I've got 150, go to the next page. What it's gonna do now is in the background, it calculates what I need to do every day in order to get to that goal. So you can see here, it's telling me I need to connect with 4,348 people this year. Okay, is that a lot? Do you think that's a lot? That's probably a lot. Now I have an aggressive goal, but here's the thing I want you guys to know. When you need to eat an elephant, how do you do it? I know we're not gonna really eat elephants. We do it one bite at a time. One bite at a time. So the next page breaks it down and it tells me what I need to do. Now what it'll do is it gives me kind of a recommended recipe between the three important groups, prospects, customers, coaches. Okay, now let me just kind of explain to you what we mean by these because these are very general groups because why? We need Teams to be simple. It needs to be simple. Those of you guys who like to overcomplicate things, I'm sorry, it's gonna be simple. You're gonna be happy at simple when it's easy to duplicate with your team. Okay, so coaches, those are the people on your team. Customers, these are your customers. These are also going to be your leads from Beachbody, okay? Because Beachbody puts them in your customer list. And prospects is everybody else who's not already a customer, who's not already a coach, and who's not somebody else's customer or coach, okay? Well, Eric, what about coach prospects and customer prospects? Guys, they're the same people. They're the same people, okay? So this breaks it down yearly, monthly, weekly, daily. It takes my elephant goal, 4,300 and was it 98? I don't know, somewhere in there. And it tells me if I reach out to nine prospects every day, six customers every day, four coaches every day, I'll get to my goal, okay? And then it's got a minimum goal of three invites and three ads. All right. Now, one thing I want you guys to know is you can modify these. If you're a new coach, you don't have any coaches, you know, you can make that a zero or a one or whatever, okay? So you can modify these numbers. Whatever you change them to, when you hit continue, your dashboard will be set up for that, okay? All right, so that's set up. The next step is finding your why. And if you guys have ever seen me do a team training, honestly, I could talk to you an hour about how important this is, okay? So important. All right, I'll take at least five minutes on it because it is really important. Guys, here's the thing with this. I know you guys may have heard about finding your why from, from your upline, or maybe you've been to a personal growth seminar where they talked about it, and it's like, okay, this is great, fuzzy, naval, hippie stuff. Here is the truth of the matter, guys. If you don't know why you're doing this, you will quit. Period. There's your tough love from Eric moment. One out of every two Beachbody coaches quits the business within the first year. Is that you? Are you that person? Or are you the person that's gonna stick with it and be successful? This is your moment to decide. This is your moment to decide. You're here tonight because you wanna learn. I'm really hoping that it's gonna be you who sticks with this and is successful with it. Because the thing that is nuts about this, guys, what is nuts about this network? I don't know if you've looked around. People are killing this business in just a handful of years. Are you guys seeing this? The way this network is growing, the opportunity is huge. So guys, but you gotta know why, because here's the thing, it's gonna get hard. There's gonna be days you don't feel like doing this stuff. Even as fun as I'm gonna make it for you right now, you still aren't gonna feel like doing it. Just like you don't feel like working out some days, okay? And you're gonna wanna quit. If you know why you're in the game, if your why is big enough, you will stick with it. Okay, if your why is big enough, you will stick with it. So here, let me show you how we built this right into Teamsy so that if you're not sure how to find your why, there's actually an exercise in here. I'm gonna go to the next page and it's like a journaling exercise right in the right built into the setup wizard that helps you clarify your thinking so that you can get a working why. I call it a working why because your why is gonna change and shift over time and maybe it'll even get deeper. The other thing is, is you will get to your why and then have to create a new one, and that's part of growing, okay? So just ask questions like, why'd you become a coach? Okay, and I usually will share my story. I'll share it with you guys really quick as we go through it so you can kind of see my thought process. 
why I became a coach is because I did P90X, got great results. Everyone was asking me about it. And when I found out there was an opportunity to make money from that, I thought it was, well, actually my wife told me it was dumb not to do it. That's why I became a coach. What I hope to accomplish. Well, gee whiz, I thought if I could make $500 a month extra money, that would be fantastic. Why is that important to you? Well, the $500 was important to me at that time because I had not saved a dime in years. I mean, by the grace of God, we had not gone into debt because we'd gone through, I'd been laid off my, my job a couple of times, but we never went into debt, which was amazing, but I never saved anything. We just, we were just stuck. So $500 extra, that was kind of like light at the end of the tunnel. What would achieving this mean for you and your family? Well, at the time I thought, man, if, well, if I could save for long enough, we could buy a new house, right? I thought that would be great because we have a, you know, like the first time home buyer's house is small. We've now got uh, three kids, one on the way, right? So we're, we're pretty crowded in our house. I thought that would be great if I could buy a new house. Why is this meaningful? How does this make you feel? Now, guys, I just want you to know when I got to this next question, I kind of got irritated with this process. And that may happen for some of you guys too. I was like, why am I doing this hippie stuff? Seriously, what is, what is this all about? And I just kind of took a break and was thinking about what, what's meaningful about buying a new house. Why would that be meaningful? And guys, what I realized was I didn't really care about the house. I was, the house was a way of me addressing kind of a deep-seated feeling that my family life was not healthy. And I thought maybe a change of environment would be would be the way to do it. What I realized was I wasn't seeing my kids ever because I was working too much. I was super stressed about losing my job. I was worried about money. What would happen to my family if I lost my job? So it kind of got deep for me, guys. And then I created my why statement from this, and I'm going to share it with you guys. Here's my why statement. To create a life where I never have to worry about money again. I enjoy quality time with my family, and I'm present for my children on a daily basis. I'm healthy and full of energy. This was my why statement, guys. And I want you to know that when I wrote this, it was like a, there was a shift in my brain. I understood this was a real opportunity for me. Okay, and I want you guys to get to the same place. I understood this was a real opportunity for me that I could do, and it could totally change my life. Now, here's, I want you guys to know, as soon as this intention was set down, I started building the Shafas, which some of you guys know, this is my Shafas, my world shed quarters, my backyard garden shed converted into, uh, you know, ground zero for my global world domination plan. And I still had a job and I was like, my wife's like, what are you doing? What do you, why do we need a shed? I go, no, no, no you don't understand. That's where I'm going to work when I leave my job. You were going to what? Okay. So anyways, you can imagine how that conversation went, but here I am. All right. Next, next step. So you guys are with me. Get your why in there. Now, one last tip on, on the why that I'll give you guys really quick because I know uh, you guys are ready, excited for me to get to the next thing. Some of you guys are more motivated by the avoidance of pain than you are the, you know, like, oh yeah, that, that wonderful life Eric painted sounds great. But you're more worried about what will happen, what could happen. You know who you are. You kind of awfulize things. You worry a lot. Okay, so you guys know who I'm talking to. If you're like that, what I want you to do also is create a, a, what I call a dark why, which is what will happen if I fail? What are the consequences of failure? Okay, what are the consequences of failure? And write them down. You know, I'll be sick, I'll be unhealthy, I'll have a bad relationship with my kids, whatever. Whatever motivates you guys. And I want you to get to the point where you you look at the consequences, you look at the consequences of winning and the consequences of losing, and you come to the conclusion that the space program in the 60s was, which is that failure is not an option. Okay, that's how powerful this is. All right. I know I'm moving fast because I know you guys have a million questions. All right, so we're going to continue to the next step. Now what we're going to do is get your contacts into Teamsy. Guys, this is so crucial, right? You can't work with people if you don't have them in here. And this is so easy. This is like, if you've ever tried to get contacts into any program, it's really easy. So you, first you're gonna to go to the coach office, you're gonna get your, um, your coach list, right? And you're gonna import your coach list. You may wanna just do personally sponsored. You can choose on your export from coach office how many levels deep you wanna go. Then you're gonna get your customer list, okay? You're gonna get your customer list from coach office and you're gonna import it. This video right here shows you how to do it. It's very easy, okay, it's very easy. Um, you superstars that have more than 2,000 customers, Beachbody only lets you do 
I think they only let you do 2,000 at a time or something like that. So, okay, for you superstar people, here's what you do. You export a range. So you go like, hey, I started being a coach in 2012. So I'm going to do 2012 to 2014 and export it and then go 2014 2000 to now and export it. So just do two, split it in two if you've got a giant list. Okay, so get those guys in here. Then you're gonna go to Facebook and get your friends list in. Okay, this is so cool that you can get your Facebook friends list in here because you're gonna be so organized now. You're not gonna be doing this thing through the Facebook messages trying to figure out who you're contacting, okay? And then anywhere else you have, you have contacts, you can get them in as a CSV file. Okay, so once you get everybody in there, in fact, let me just toggle over here real quick and see. Look, I just did a Facebook download right before I got on the call. Here it is. I'll show you how this, we'll actually do it. Let's do it real time. You get an email from Facebook. Hey, if any of you guys have tried to get your Facebook archive downloaded and you've had trouble, make sure you use, my, my best advice is you use a Gmail email address because the Gmail email address works like every time. All right, so um, that's gonna start downloading my archive for me. Uh, maybe we won't do it real time because I think it's gonna take like two minutes to download. Let's see how long it's gonna take. Four minutes, 56 minutes. Yeah, we won't do it real time. But you get the idea. As soon as that downloads, we can just jam that right into Teamsy and, um, and it pop it right in. Now, some of you guys are wondering how can he do his Facebook list because he's already done it. Won't he get duplicates? No, it doesn't duplicate. So anyone that's already in there just ignores and it brings just the new people in. Um, but I did this video a couple days ago with my dog and I got like 60 friend requests from it. So I do need to do a new update. Okay, so some, some of those were you guys. So I'm glad to be connected with you. So that's your setup process. It's super easy, right? You could do the basic setup in like 15 minutes. If you go a little deeper and get your why completely done, it may take a little bit longer. Now, once you get everybody in here, we do, we do create, um, we base the, the list, the way the list is drawn every day, we base it on the rank that we give people. So let me show you how to do that really quick. And I know you guys, I can see the chat thing going and I wish I could read it, but you don't want me to stop and do that. So we're going to be in rank mode. I'm just going to show you like on my prospects list here. If I hit this rank mode, when you come up through the setup wizard, it'll be automatically here. And what we want you to do is just go through your list and give people a ranking. Like as if you're ranking a Netflix or something on Amazon or whatever, right? Five stars is awesome. One star is not so awesome. Here's what I want you guys to know. This is important because the rank determines how often you're going to connect with somebody. Okay. And I'm going to explain what that means in a minute. But don't be overwhelmed by this. Everybody that's, everybody's gonna start out as a three star. So everybody's already got a rank. And then what you wanna do is you wanna go through your list and cherry pick the people you're closest to and, and, and make them fours and fives, okay? Now, why is it so important to know who you're closest to? Now, what I mean by closest to is people most likely to join your business or most, most likely to get involved, right? but I also mean your best friends and your closest relationships. Even if your best friends and closest relationships are totally not interested right now, okay? The reason why is because they wanna support you and love you and they will, they're interested and they are gonna be, um, they will also tell other people about what you're doing. Okay, so we wanna go through and do that, but here's the principle, guys. You should spend the most time with the best people. You should spend the most time with the people who are most likely to move your business forward. If you have a big list, I mean, most people have a decent sized list. Even when you're starting, you might have a thousand people if you put your Facebook friends in there. You don't have time to get to everybody all the time. So you wanna make sure the best people come up the most. Okay, that's why we rank them. And a five star person, this is somebody that is gonna show up on your list, your dashboard list every month, okay? Now, I'm not talking about follow-ups right now at all, guys. I'm talking about connects. A connect is just this. It's connecting with somebody, saying, hey, how are you? I hope you're having an awesome day. Our goal with the Connect is this, make someone's day. That's it. The goal of the Connect is not to invite. It's not to, right? We're not jumping to the, would you like to come home with me conversation. We're just saying, hey, how are you? Okay, let's start with a relationship first, right? So they say, buy me dinner first or something. Make your, you're just going to make someone's day. We're just going to connect with them. 
That's where our focus is. It's just right here. It's just like, hey, I want to make your day. Is there something I can do for you? What can I do to help you today? Is there anything I can, anything I know that you need? Is there any person I know that you need? Do you need a recommendation to something? Anything. I just want to connect. How are you? That's a connect. Okay. I'm going to show you guys how to do that in a minute. But a five-star person is going to show up every single month. So those are going to be people you're really close to if you're connecting every month that way. And then a four stars every couple of months, every two months. Three stars, that's everybody that most people are three because you don't really know which way they're going to go. And you're going to connect with them every three months. And then a four, uh, two stars every four months. Okay, and then a, a one star, those are the people that aren't going to show up on your, on your connect list. They're just on your list somewhere. You just have them in storage. Okay, so that's how the rankings work. Now, I'm gonna go back to Teamsy because guys, if you don't remember anything I just said, if you click this little question mark, it shows you those rankings, okay? And if you're on your dashboard, you got it here too, it shows you those rankings, okay? So don't worry if you don't remember that. But it's really important that you prioritize your relationships so that we can prioritize your time for you. Because if you don't prioritize your relationships ahead of time, the turkeys in your life steal your time. You guys, some of you guys have heard me say that, but they will steal your time. The people that don't deserve it will steal it. They'll take it. And the people who do deserve it won't get it. So we want to make sure that we're focusing on the right people. Okay. So now we've got everything set up. You're looking at my dashboard. Now I'm going to show you guys how to slay your business. Now, guys, the power hour, what I'm going to tell you right now is we call ourselves power hour boss. Honestly, the teensy part is 20 minutes. It's 20 minutes. 20 minutes to blow your business up in a good way. I'm telling you right now, guys, if there's anybody, any one of you guys that does not believe this, just do what I'm going to show you tomorrow one time and tell me just even one time you didn't see amazing response. And then the compound effect of doing what I'm going to show you guys in a minute over days and weeks is going to be amazing, astronomical. Okay, and when I talked to amazing coaches who had great success, had an awesome call um, yesterday with Lauren uh, Majewski, like she's amazing. Um, she, I mean, she's just starting to use Teamsy, but she naturally does the stuff I'm gonna show you guys. That's why she's so successful. I shudder to think what she can do with a tool like this. Okay, so here's how we do our power hour. Check it out, here's the dashboard. You guys are looking at it. You can tell I'm excited about this, right? I'm excited to show you guys this. There's the goals we set, nine prospects, six customers, two coaches, right? There's our big goals. Um, you also can check off these things as you do them. Do you do your social posts today? Do you do your PD? Do you drink your Shakeology? Do your workout? Do you do all those things? Check them off as part of what we do as coaches every day, right? Now I'm going to do my up next. So I have four lists here. I have prospects, customers, coaches, and follow-ups, right? Remember I said we're not talking about follow-ups yet, but we will get to them. So right now what I wanna do is connect. My goal is to make people's day. And I'm hoping we'll have a conversation, right? And that conversation will give me an opportunity to serve them even deeper. That's my goal. Anybody with me on that? So just so you guys know, if you're not, if you don't love people and wanna help them, you're already hating me, right? But if you're like that, if you're like me, then this is going to resonate with you. First person on my list, I'm doing prospects first. Always go from left to right. Always go from left to right. Why? Well, that's the way we read. We made it convenient for you. <laughs> but prospects are the most important group. Connecting with your prospects every day is the most important, the highest and best use of your time. There is no, there's no activity that is a better use of your time ever than connecting with prospects. Do you guys get that? You guys get that at a deep level? And I'm gonna show you how to do it in 10 minutes. So guys, seriously, without being too crass, you can take your iPhone into the toilet and get this part done every day, okay? All right, hopefully that was funny because I can't see your faces, but that's okay. Toilet humor is usually not always the thing. Okay, so guys, prospects. First person on my list is Darren, okay? I'm gonna jump over Darren Jazz. Okay, I gotta see how to spell his name because I don't really know who this is. That's okay, right? So I'm gonna go to Facebook. I use Facebook Messenger for just about everything. There he is. I am. It's one of my real estate contacts. Great. All right. Where's my, where's my bandwidth on my internet? Give it a second, guys. It could be because there's like a thousand people on this call right now. 
give this a refresh. And I gave Okay, so we're back. I am so sorry that's never happened, but we're back and we're still recording, which is awesome. Okay, we're back. Sorry, guys. Okay, so guys, where was I? <laughs> I was just having a little bit of a freak out moment. All right, so we're looking up Darren, okay? Now we got internet, internet's working, which is great. Okay, there he is, there's Darren. Now I'm gonna send him a message. I'm gonna connect with him, okay? And you can see I sent him a message like a year ago, so. You don't even have to type to do this. All right, so I'm sending him a message. It says, hey, Darren, it's been a while since I checked in with you. How are you? I hope today was awesome. All right, so now I'm gonna copy this message. I'm gonna jump back to Teamsy. Here's the thing, guys. It's like I'm sending him a message. It's taking me three seconds. I don't even care if he responds or not because I'm going to connect with 10 people right now and half of them will and I'm going to have great conversations. But over time, people do respond, which is pretty cool. So this is a Facebook message and select the type and I'm going to log it. Now check this out. When I log that connect, he's off my list. Now the top person is Tara. Okay. So I'm going to jump back to, to Facebook and I'm going to go to Tara. There she is. All right. We'll close that one out. We're going to send Tara a message. Okay, so it looks like I, I was connecting with her at the same time as Darren. So look, I'm just going to copy the same message from Darren, and I'm going to change the name. Okay? Don't overthink this, guys. Don't overthink it. You're just trying to send somebody a message to put yourself top of mind. Now, the thing is, is that if they are on Facebook, if they are on Instagram, they are watching you already. They know what's going on with you. I don't need to put that in the message. Just like, hey, how are you? And then we'll have a great conversation. That was a Facebook message. Bam, log the connect. Now, I'm going to go to Colleen. Look, I'm just going to show you how fast you can do this, guys. How fast do you think I could get through the nine people on my list today? Seriously. Would it even take me 10 minutes? No, yeah, when they come back, when they come back and um, respond, yeah, that takes a little bit of time, but that's fun. Okay, here's Colleen, who's like one of the most brilliant graphic designers ever. And artist, she paints. Okay, so boom, there it is, Colleen. Great, copy. I just did three, guys. Now I wanna show you what happened while I was banging through that. Could you call somebody and do this? Yeah, look, you got different things you can do. You can email, text, Instagram, phone call. Um, this weekend, we're adding Snapchat, LinkedIn on here too. You, so however you want to connect with people, okay? Here's the thing. It's just about connecting. So look what happened. I got three done. See how the circle's filling in? When I get to nine, that will be completely filled in. Okay, that will be completely filled in. Now, here's what I will show you. This is what I will tell you guys. Typically, the response rate for people using Team Z has been about 50% which means if you send 10 messages like this, you get five responses. And those responses could be, let me stop so you guys can see me. Those responses could be everywhere from a complete conversation that leads to an invite, or someone joining your team even better, right? Or it could just be like, uh, hi, I'm good, period. Or the worst, you know, the thumbs up little icon. Cool, they responded. They, for a second, they, thought of you, you sent them a nice message, they smiled, and they're very likely now to be looking at your posts on social media. So that's your worst case scenario. Your best case scenario is that they that it moves all the way to them joining your team. Somewhere in between is where most of the time it's gonna lie. And a lot of times people won't respond the first time, maybe the second time. And then you'll get random things where it's like the third time you're sending this, how the heck are you message with no response, and they're like, actually I'd like to, I've been watching what you're doing and I'd like to join your team. Awesome. It's just about investing a little bit of time and energy into that relationship and letting them know you care. You're not after anything. You're just hoping they're having a great day. And what you're looking for are ways to help people in little ways. And then if you're having a conversation, you're looking for a way to help them with the tools that you have, with their health, with their fitness, with their financial freedom. Does that make sense? 
Okay, so you guys are with me. So now, here we go. We're back. So I did my prospects. Bam, 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 bam. Imagine that I got all nine done and that's blue. Now I'm going to go to the next tab, which is customers. This is so important, guys. You've got to be in touch with your customers. We're going to do it exactly the same way. I typically would use Facebook. If I get to a customer that's only email, I'll send them an email. Now, let me just explain something about customers. First of all, when you guys, when you guys agreed to help somebody as their coach, did you, did you think, you know, did you think realistically that like in four months, this person's probably going to drop, probably going to cancel their Shakeology and not be working out anymore on the programs? That happens a lot, doesn't it? Guys, if you take somebody on as a customer or as a coach on your team, for crying out loud, it, you're obligated to help them. You're their coach. You are their coach now. The first thing is staying in touch. You gotta be in touch with your customers. Don't get overwhelmed. Teams is gonna give you a bunch every day. You're just gonna message them, okay? Hey, Ashley, how are you doing today? Anything I can do to make your day? Are you doing your workouts? How, how are they going? Are you enjoying your psychology? Whatever you wanna say, just bang, just messaging people, reaching out to them, being present for them. You're gonna see your retention period for psychology extend. And there's another reason and obviously they're going to get great results, right? Staying with the programs. The other reason that you want to be in touch with your customers, guys, is that when you are looking for, you know, when you're looking to make something happen in your business, you don't know where the next lead's going to come from. You need to know that the hottest source of a new lead is your current customer. The hottest source of a new lead is your current customer. I can't say this enough, guys. There is no class you can take. There's no Instagram training you can take. There's no bot you can buy that's gonna get you a better lead than you can get from a current customer. Okay, your current customer, the one that's getting results, that's excited, they're talking about it to everyone that's around them. The reason you're not getting those people is because you're not connecting. Okay, you gotta be in touch. Team is gonna help you connect. Okay, it's gonna help you connect, you connect. And when you get those people on, tell them how proud of them you are, tell them how excited you are to, to, and honored to be their coach, tell them how honored you would be to help their friends and ask them to introduce you to anyone they can think of who might be interested. Okay, and I'm gonna, I promise that I will do a full one hour webinar on that process, on how to ask um, for those introductions very soon, probably in the next three weeks, we'll do that, okay? And we'll make sure that we let you guys know about it. But you got to be doing it. Got to be reaching out to your customers. It's so so crucial. Okay, I'm going back to Teamsy now. So you go through your customers the same way. You reach out to them. Bam, 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 bam. Send them messages. This turns red when you get through your customer list. Now you're going to go to coaches, and this will bring coaches up on your team. And it's the same thing. Hey girl, how's your day going? I was thinking about you today. Can I do any? Is there anything I can do for you? Is there anything I can do to serve you better? How can I? You know, whatever. Just reach out to them. Make their day. Tell them something great. Use it for recognition, for crying out loud, right? Sorry, I get really fired up. You guys, this is called Teamsy for a reason. It's to help you build your team. It's about helping you create relationships. This is going to help you gather your tribe, okay? It's not about SC points, but you're going to have amazing SC points. You're going to have amazing SC points. The stories that are coming in, people telling me they get hit 40, hit 32 they're for, during their free trial. Crazy. All right. Prospects, customers, coaches. You guys go through all those, and then these circles are going to be solid. And then you've got like your 20 minute power hour done. You've done your proactive reaching out to people, creating new conversations. Guys, if I were to sum up this business in one sentence, this is it. Are you ready? This is your pearl for the night. Your job is to create conversations your job create conversations right what do you do with those conversations you look for ways to help people that's how you build a business that's how you build a business with integrity with heart and man it feels so good <laughs> it feels so good building business this way all right so how do you do follow-ups Eric great great question let's just say my friend Colleen responds and says hey Eric it's great to hear from you I'm doing great. Here's what I'm up to. I saw on Facebook what you're doing. It looks pretty cool, right? And we start having a conversation. 
So Colleen and I have a conversation. And I catch up with, I catch up on her family. She catches up on my family. She says, you know, I've been watching what you're doing. And honestly, I, I think I'm ready to do something, make a change, get a little healthier. Could you help me with that? Said, yeah, absolutely. So we're talking, right? This happens all the time. This happens because I reached out to her, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to, usually I'll say, let's get on the phone and talk about your goals. So I'll get her on the phone. We'll talk about her goals. I'll find out what she's looking to do. And then I'll get, make a recommendation to a program, right? Just like you guys would do. So we go through this process. Let's say we pick 21 day fix. It's perfect for her. It's exactly what she needs. And I tell her all about it. And, and so now I'm going to just say, okay, here's what I'm going to do. Colleen, I'm going to send you an email. It's going to have all the info on the next challenge group. It's going to have a link that you need to use to order your challenge pack. Okay. And what I'm going to do, Colleen, is I'll check in with you tomorrow. Make sure you got the email and see if you have any questions. Sound good? She's going to say great. Okay. And I don't know if you guys do it that way. Maybe you use the coach, the coach mobile. Either way, they're going to get, okay, you're going to get an email. I need you to complete that. I'll check in tomorrow. See if you have any questions. Either way. Okay. So guys, here's how we do it. So now what I'll do is I'll look Colleen up in my search bar. So after this conversation's happened, not Colleen, Colleen, there she is, okay? I'm gonna look her up, and this brings me to her contact record. Now, one of the things I'm gonna look at first is I'm gonna to go to activity feed, and that has the messages I've sent her. So maybe what I'll do right here is I'll click edit on this message I sent, um, this, well, 10 minutes ago, and I'll paste the whole conversation in there so it's in the record, okay? I'll paste the whole thing in there so it's in the record. So those of you guys who like to keep records, that's how you do it, and you don't create new connects that way. But now what I wanna do is I wanna log the fact that I sent her an invite because I'm tracking that, right? So I'm gonna click connect. That opens up that connect box just like on the dashboard. And this time it's an email I told her I was gonna send, right? And the email was a 21 day fix invite, okay. You can paste the whole email in here if you want, but I'm guessing you guys are like me and you've got an email for everything that's the same every time, okay. So guys, when did I tell Colleen I was gonna follow up with her? Do you guys remember? Tomorrow. I'm gonna check in with you tomorrow. Now, here's one thing I wanna ask you guys. Do you guys realize that 80% of all sales happen between the seventh and 10th follow-up? You guys, have you guys heard that before? Between the seventh and 10th follow-up. How many of you guys follow up seven to 10 times on invite? I wonder. Right? There's going to be a few of you guys. There's going to be a few of you guys that do it. Here's the thing. If you're not following up, you're letting people down. And I know you feel like you're nagging people, or maybe you just don't have a system like this that helps you stay organized enough to do the follow-ups. But I'm going to tell you right now, if you do it right, following up is never nagging somebody. Here's a principle I want you guys to write down and own. Following up is an act of love. Following up is an act of love, especially with what we do. We're saving lives. This following up is an act of love. If you guys really feel like you're bugging people, you should write that down as an affirmation and tape it to your computer screen. Look at it before you do your follow-ups. Okay, so let me show you how to do this, you guys. So now we're on this thing. Now what I'm gonna do here is notice that it says default. Well, Colleen's a three, which means she won't show up on my dashboard for 90 days. I need to make sure I set a new follow-up. So watch this. I'm going to toggle this down, and I'm going to click tomorrow. Okay? Great. And now, this was an invite, so I need to click this little box that says invite. What type of invite? Hmm. Challenge group. You with me? Log. Now, notice what happened. Now there's a follow-up set for Colleen. Here's the cool thing. I cannot screw this up. I cannot screw this up because now she's on my list. I can't mess it up. So now when I go to my dashboard tomorrow and I go through my follow-ups, you see I still have a couple to do um, so that she shows up because it shows me um, just five at a time. Well, let's just pretend we followed up with Craig so that she'll show up on my list. Oh no, I have too many. Okay, but she's on my follow-ups list, okay? She's on my follow-ups list, but I have to do a couple follow-ups in order to get to her. But guys, when I come back to my follow-up, you can see your whole list by going to team. 
and clicking on upcoming follow-ups, you can see your whole follow-up list. There she is, there's Colleen Lynch, okay? All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna actually explain to you tomorrow when I come to her follow-up, I'm gonna explain to you what I'm gonna say to her. Are you ready? I'm gonna give you word for word what I say, which communicates that my following up is not only gonna be awesome, but it is going to be an act of love. Are you ready? You guys ready for the words? You got your pens ready? Some of you guys already know this because I've already taught it to you. This is what I'm gonna to say to Colleen. Hey Colleen, just checking in like I promised I would. What questions do you have for me? That's it. Hey Colleen, just checking in like I promised I would. What questions do you have for me? Okay, now guys, very simple. I'm gonna send it as a message, Facebook Messenger, just like we started our conversation. I'm gonna send her that follow-up. And then I'm gonna set the next one for tomorrow again. Okay, I'm gonna send that one and I'm gonna set her again on my list again for tomorrow. This is so crucial. You don't have to overthink this. But when I told her, when I followed up, first of all, I told her I follow up tomorrow and I did, which put, what, a deposit in her trust account put a deposit in her trust account. Some of you guys have seen my training on how to build trust. This is one of the ways you do it is by keeping your word. But the words I used, like I promised I would, like I promised I would. It's not because I want your $40 commission or because I'm trying to pull something over on you because I'm trying to sell. It's because I promised I would. It's because I care about you. It's because my follow-ups are an act of what? An act of love. And I know, Colleen, this is the unspoken conversation. I know how hard it is to change. I know how hard it is to change. And I know when you were on the phone with me yesterday, you were so excited about the prospect of changing and getting healthy. And today, you're back in your life. And it doesn't look so promising now. And I know you're not going to respond to this first follow-up. And I know you're probably not going to respond to my first five follow-ups. And that's okay. You know why? Because I promised I would help you. And I will. This is what follow-ups are, guys. Now, here's the other thing. Those of you guys who are real pragmatic and are like, it's about the numbers and making money and whatever, here's what I'll tell you. Just know, 80% of all sales happen between the seventh and 10th follow-up, so you need to keep going. If you wanna convert, you need to keep going. If you guys are following up three times, you're giving up 80% of your business. How many of you guys have followed up a couple of times with somebody and then found out they joined someone else's team as a coach? Has that happened? If you've been doing this a year, it's happened at least once. Why do you think they didn't sign up with you. Maybe they just weren't ready yet and you left them behind. Somebody else picked them up, right? So don't do that. Okay, guys, all, someone's asking about scripts. I know I'm not supposed to look at that. It's so, it's so tantalizing. I just wanna, I see you guys writing things and I wanna read them. The scripts on this weekend, it's gonna be on my test server. We're gonna be testing it. All these scripts, some of these scripts are already on the promote page, but all these scripts are gonna be built into your dashboard next week. It's gonna be so freaking awesome. I can, I'm, I'm preparing for the love notes. I'm gonna be, they're gonna be blowing up my inbox next week when you guys see the scripts improvement. Uh, the scripts improvement. Okay, so let me go back to the follow-ups. I know some of you guys are raising your hands and I, I can't do that right now, sorry. So, okay, so I'm gonna be following up with her Tomorrow, I'm gonna to follow up again. Hey Colleen, just checking in again. Do you have any questions for me? Set the next follow up for tomorrow. Guys, follow up every single day, four or five days in a row, trust me. Third day, hey Colleen, I'm here to help. I'm excited about the goals we set, let's get started. Set it for tomorrow, day four. Hey Colleen, checking in again. Hope you're doing well. Um, let's, you know, let me know if you need anything from me or whatever. Just follow in every day. And then after four or five days, you can back this off to two days. And then after a couple of those, you can back them off to four days. Now, what happens if you go through 10 follow-ups and they never respond? It's very rare, but sometimes that happens. And it's all right. You just set it back to default, and then you'll connect again in three months. The cool thing about Teamsy is nobody falls through the cracks. She may need three months to ripen on the vine a little bit. And I can't even tell you, some of you guys will be able to testify to this, that you've connected with somebody over the course who's, who was interested, and then they pulled back. And you connected with them over the course of a year before they signed up as a coach. And now they're a rock star. That happens all the time. So don't drop people behind. Keep them on your list, okay? So that's how you do follow-ups. Now, the key, the thing that's so beautiful, the thing I love the most about Teams is how easy it is to set a follow-up. So guys, in case you've been asleep this last 40 minutes, let me just sum this up for you. 
Your job, here, let me stop my share so I can talk to you. Your job is to create conversations, okay? What do you do in those conversations? You help people. You find a way to make their day, make someone's day mindset. How, do you, how can I help you, okay? You create enough conversations and those conversations will lead to sales and recruits, okay? But not just out of the blue, you're gonna date them a little, and it's gonna be way more fun, right? You're gonna become the trusted advisor for your, for your sphere of influence. You will be the trusted advisor, the people they come to when it comes to health, fitness, nutrition, and building a fortune, okay? You're gonna be that person, which is gonna be awesome. And then, when they're interested, what do you do? You set a follow-up with them. When somebody's got interest, you could um, you put them on your follow-up list. Those are the people you're actively working with consistently. Hey, everyone else, you're just making their day. You're just moving through the list. When they're interested, you put them on the follow-ups list. That's as simple as it can be. There's so many things that you can do in Teamsy. You know, using tags and, and just there's lots of things you can get deeper in. But guys, here's the thing. If you can focus your 20, 30 minutes a day in creating conversations and following up like a pro, you will slay this business. I know that you don't have a lot of time. If you're a new coach, you've got a full-time job, you've got kids wrangling, you only have this much time. Here's what I'm gonna tell you. You gotta be super focused on doing the right things every day. When you become a, a huge success in this business, guess what? You gotta be super focused to do the right things every day. Your time constraints are just, it's gonna be more important when you get very successful in this business. If you guys can just make this happen, 30 minutes. Now it's also mobile, there's a mobile website, you can use it on your mobile phone. Seriously, some of you guys laugh when I made the potty break joke. You could do that. You would be ahead. All right, so guys, couple things that I want you to know. 30 day free trial. Everybody gets a 30-day free trial. Go do that, okay? After 30 days, it's $29.99 a month, which is less than the commission on one Shakeology sale. Think about that. One Shakeology sale, it's less than that commission. Use this for 30 days. Oh my gosh, you better be generating more than one sale. That first sale will pay for your subscription, okay? It's an investment in your business. It's a tax deduction. But de definitely get in there free trial. And one more thing, and I'm gonna jump to the Q&A. So if you guys have questions, see the Q&A right there? Start typing your questions in there. Okay, because I'm gonna start answering those questions in a second. During your free trial, get a 30-day success partner. Some of you guys who are leaders are creating Facebook groups for your team to connect with, which is great. Still, if you're in one of those groups, get a success partner for 30 days. Here's what I challenge you to do. For 30 days, Try to get your Teamsy done at least five days a week, okay? And screenshot it and send it to your success partner every night, okay? And if you haven't done your Teamsy and you get that screenshot from your success partner, guess what you're gonna roll over in bed and do? Yeah, you can send messages any time of day, okay? So do that. That's my challenge to you guys. Slay your businesses. It's gonna be awesome and it's gonna be fun and people are gonna be delighted to hear from you. All right. I'm gonna jump over now. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to read the chat later. But if you guys have questions, put them in the q and I've only got 15 so far, that's great. Last time I had 200, we'll see what happens after I start answering them. All right, Angel LeMay asks, thank you for the webinar this evening. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm glad you enjoyed it. That was an easy one, next question. Lauren, Lauren says, I'm a new coach and I've been using Teamsy for a couple of months now and I don't have many customers or coaches to connect with. Would you recommend then increasing the number of prospect connects daily? Absolutely, Lauren. Absolutely. Yeah, make that number bigger, especially if you're new. You need to create momentum. The most momentum is, is required at the beginning of your business. It's like launching a spaceship, right? You need rockets to get you to space and then you float. Okay. Anonymous says... How do you skip a follow-up? I've built hundreds since I came back to Teams and you wanna see my most recent first. Okay, great. This is a good question. Anonymous, I wish I had your name, but it's all good. I'm going back to Teams to answer this one, but this is a great one. So guys, here's the deal. If you have hundreds of follow-ups that you're not following up with, you need to clear those out and start over. 
<laughs> okay? Remember, the connects are gonna keep you in touch with people. If you're following up with people, that's a list, that's like your hot list. These are the people you're connecting with right now, you're really working with. So go to your team page, go to upcoming follow-ups, and if you've got a follow-up you don't need, like this one here, it's not real, you just go right here where the follow-ups do and you drop it back to default, okay? And they come off your follow-up list and they go back into your Teamsy. So anonymous, you can go through all these people, like, like Amy's not a real one either, she was an example, and you can just put it back to default, okay? That's how you do it. Just crank through your list and clean them out. I've actually done that for somebody once before because they just couldn't even look at their Teamsy, they got so crazy. Okay, let me clear that, bam, bam. When do we get to do this from our phones? So we do that already. You go to teamsy.com on your phone in the browser of your phone. So if you have an iPhone, it's Safari, and if you have an Android, it's Chrome. And then when you get to the lot, when you log in, and then save it to your home screen, okay? Save it to your home screen. And um, if you're like on an iPhone, what you can do is you just, you know, you double tap the home, the home button to toggle between Teamsy and the app you're using, text or Facebook Messenger. Okay. How do you skip a follow-up? Wow, that's the same one. It came through a bunch of times. Okay, great. How do you, okay, uh, Shanna asks the same thing. How do you skip a follow-up? Oh, Shanna, that's the same question. You must be my anonymous. We already answered that one, it's all good. Gina says, is the mobile app on Android yet? Gina, it's not an app, it's a web page. So yes, you just go to, you just go to Google Chrome and it's there. Okay, Courtney says, where did you say the scripts would be? Oh, you guys are gonna really make me Take a look at this. Okay, let me just see if I can, let me just see if, if I can get this. Uh, let me stop my share. I didn't realize I was sharing my screen. Let me see if I can get the test server up. I don't know if I can. But if I can get the test server up, I'll show you. Will that blow your guys' mind? We'll see. Oh, you're in luck. It loaded for me. Okay, hold on, let me log into it. This is exciting for me as much as it is for you guys. All right, just keep in mind, what I'm gonna show you is a test server, which means that it is not finished. It may be buggy. I haven't tested it all yet, which is my weekend job, and the guys are still working on it. But it's enough for me to show you and have you probably freak out. Oh gosh, oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so excited about this, I can't even tell you. You guys ready for this? Anyone, anyone? Okay, here we go. This is not what's on Teamsy now. This is what's gonna be on Teamsy sometime next week. So don't get excited if this is your first time going, where are these buttons? I don't wanna see messages coming in Teamsy going, where's the scripts button? Because guys, this is not real yet, but this is where it's gonna be. Bam, right there, see where it says new? And then you're gonna click this, check this out. So I'm gonna connect with Peter, right? He's a prospect. I'm gonna click scripts, check this out. What do I wanna do? I'm gonna send him a Facebook message. Boom, here's my scripts. Look at this, check this out. Now what I could do is I could just go, boom, use script, I click that, it copies it, I close this, I jump over to Facebook and I paste it right in. How sweet is that? Now check this out. Not only that, but I could do, um, all my follow-up scripts are here. Look, one, two, three, all 10. I have 10 for you guys. Who's excited about this? You just paste these in 10 times. Those of you guys who are, um, those of you guys who are worried about doing follow-ups, you can use all 10 of my scripts. What do you think of that? Okay, so pretty cool, right? Um, also, you can go in there and you can create, you can upload all your own scripts. I put all mine in there and you can upload all your own so they're there at hand whenever you need them. All right, hold on, let me go back, stop the share, and I gotta make sure when I go back there, I'm on real TNT. All right, is anyone excited about that? I am so excited. So I answered uh, Chad's question, we'll be able to edit scripts and snippets, create our own. Yes, you can. How do you connect to the Instagram? Um, I'm not sure what you mean by that, Bobby, but I'll tell you a couple things. One is you, you would connect with somebody or direct message them through Instagram like you always do. You just log it in Teamsy. Okay, you just log it in Teamsy. All right. 
Shauna says, is the dollar amount in the wizard the total revenue amount I want to sell or the total commissions I want to earn? It's a combination. No, it's, it's your earnings. It's your earnings. It's commissions and, um, you know, bonuses and stuff from, from signing up coaches. Okay. Courtney says, by the way, my SC points almost doubled during the 30-day trial. Of course they did, but way to go, Courtney. Awesome. The cool thing is, think about all those people you helped. Jenny says, how do I backtrack a connect if I talk to them Saturday but didn't log till Monday? Jenny, that's on our list, but right now you can't change the date. Just log it as today for now. I know it's not perfect, but it'll get the job done. Fallon says, I use the mobile website, but I can't see my customers on my phone. Oh, that's weird. How do I make it work? Um, you probably just need to push. Now, because the phone screen is smaller, it can't display everything at the same time like the desktop can. So you, so what would take one screen on the desktop may take three screens on mobile. So you just kind of make sure that you push. So like if you get your list and you just see a name and there's no contact, touch the name and the next screen will show you all the contact info. If that makes sense. Kimberly says, is there a way to adjust the follow-up date without logging an additional connect? Yes, that's where you go to the team page, Kimberly. I showed this a minute ago, but I don't know if you saw it. You go to the team page and you go to your full follow-ups list here. And then whoever it is, you know, you click on somebody, I got Tara there. You just change it, you change it here without doing a follow-up, okay? You can't do it on the dashboard though. The dashboard doesn't let you do a lot of this stuff on purpose, guys. On purpose, why? Wait, are you guys still here? Was I not even sharing my screen just now? I showed you that, that's silly. All right, so I, I didn't, I was not sharing the screen. This is what I was showing you was when you go to your follow-ups on, on the Teams page, you can just change the date here without logging and connect. The reason why you can't do that on the dashboard is because we want you focused on reaching out and connecting with people on the dashboard. We want you focused on following up. We don't want you trying to do other stuff. Okay, so things on the dashboard, it's like designed to keep you going. Is there an easy way to eliminate other coaches you are friends with on Facebook after you upload them? Dara asks that. Dara, the easiest way is just to click the trash can icon next to their name as you go through your list. Now, some of those people you'll want to keep because you want their relationships important to you and you want to build their relationship. So I want you guys to know there's value in having relationships that, of people that aren't on your team just because it's kind of hard to quantify. The more you love on people, the more you invest in relationships, the more that comes back. But other coaches could be success partners, they could be mentors. So there are people you want to keep on your list, but anyone that you don't want on your list, you just click that little trash can next to their name. Okay. Tina says, can we share this webinar with, uh, of, with our team? Of course you can. Um, and this link will be on our Facebook page tomorrow. So you guys can have the link and you can share it. Kristen says, when pulling contacts off of Facebook, can I get all the people who like my like page into Teensy? Or can I only get the people I'm actually friends with on Facebook? Okay, that's a great question. And so here's the, here's the answer, Kristen. Facebook will allow you to export your friends list. You get that in easy. You can't do an export of your likes because Facebook doesn't consider those yours, they consider them theirs. But a lot of people are putting their likes in because they have an assistant or maybe like an idle teenager in their life who could go in there and create a spreadsheet for you. Um, and then just put all those in there and keep it up to date and you can put the, that spreadsheet in TNC super easy. Okay, you just need to make sure that when you make a list, guys, any of you guys who make lists, you gotta keep first name and last name in separate columns, okay? And then make sure you save as .csv before you import to TMZ. Okay. The same is true for your Instagram list. You can't export that from Instagram at this point. Instagram won't let you, but you can create a list and import that in easily. Okay, so Megan says, is there an easier way to add in new friends from Facebook that you're adding to your new market than always uploading all your contacts? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, let me show you. So on every page, you have this big purple button at the top, add contact. Okay, so you just add somebody. Here you go, Megan, you're on my list. Somebody's added like that. I can tag her. Uh, she was on the webinar. Look at that, webinar attendees. I can tag her like that. I can change her rank and I can set my follow-up for tomorrow for her. And then I can add the next person, it takes a second. So what I will often do, Megan, is I will go to my um, 
my recently added friends on Facebook and every couple of days and I'll just bang, I'll add those people in. Um, I like to add them in one by one like that because now I can set a follow up with them. Lexi says, is there going to be a feature where Teams will notify you of follow ups? Uh, no. Sorry. You go to your dashboard every day and it'll tell you how many follow ups you have. You see that little circle, that little number on there? That's what it does. The reason why, Lexi, sorry, I don't mean to be harsh, but I've built CRMs in the past. And when we send people notifications of follow ups, they instantly hate us. Because you get, if you don't remember, if you need a, okay, let me just put this the nicest way I can. If you need a reminder to, to, that you have a follow-up coming, that means that you're missing days. And now you're getting reminders all the time and you're hating Teamsy. So you just go to your dashboard and do your follow-ups. Josephine says, my customers and coaches don't show up on my list. I have prospects and follow-ups, but that's it. Josephine, did you import them from the online office? Did you do a download of your coaches from online office and import that? And did you do a download of your customers from online office and import that? Because if you did that, they'll be there. If you did that and they're not there for some reason, click the help button in Teensy and ask for help from our support team. But it could be that you just missed that step. And if that's the case, um, do that and, and see if that works. Either way, we'll help you with it. Okay. Red says, what a cool name, Red Williams. I like that. I want you to like run for Senate or something. What if I registered with the free trial but never once used it, can I try again? Well, click the help button in Teamsy and ask them. It doesn't hurt to ask. Laura Yeager says, do you think you should try personal and should you try and personal the messages by checking into the Facebook page? Laura, okay, personalize, I think is what she's trying to say by check. Should you personalize the messages by checking their Facebook page? Here's what I will tell you. You should definitely do that when you have a conversation with them. My recommendation to you is you just send a nice general message that will stimulate a response. Because you could get sucked into that Facebook page and your power half hour is now power two hours. It's more important to get those, those hello messages out, fire them out, okay? And then when they respond, now if you know something's happening, then yeah. But I mean, just, it's better to, it's better to err on the side of action, if that makes sense, okay. And then when you have a conversation, yeah, dig into that and get into it. Jenny says, how do I backtrack? Okay, we did that one. Allie says, would you only invite when someone asks you for your help? Um, well, I definitely would invite if they asked me for my, their help. Is that the only time? I mean, you know, you just got to use your, your judgment on that. You got to use your judgment on that. And depending on, on where they're at, what they're, you may already know what they're interested in. They may already have interests. If you're doing a free group or something, you may know they're already interested, then you can invite them to that. It's not, a, it's not like a hard and fast rule. What I'm saying that I disagree with is what our industry teaches, which is, which is, you know, put the business opportunity out to everybody, you know, and pick the ones. Some of you guys saw my, my riff on the avocado tree the other day. I was walking by an avocado tree and I just was laughing about how that's how we approach this business. Like, you know, we look at an avocado tree that, that's a year old and we wonder why there's no fruit on it. And when the, when it tells us it doesn't have any fruit for us, we leave it behind. When that's going to be a beautiful tree full of fruit down the road. Like that's how we treat our relationships too. So that's just, um, so I would just, I'm not a big fan of cold inviting, but I would definitely have a conversation with somebody and when it's appropriate, definitely invite. Does that make sense? Okay. Amy says when setting up the goals, income level, et cetera, connecting with X amount of people is based on how many days a week and is the amount of days adjustable? Um, it is not based on, it is not adjustable at this point, but, but it could be in the future, definitely. And um, I believe it's based on a five-day work week. I know that you guys work all the time, but I believe it's based on a five-day work week. Fallon says, I use the mobile website, but I can't see my customers on my phone. Oh, I already answered that one. Okay. I'll see some dupes and I'll just move through them. If you, Christy says, if you have people who are considered discount coaches, would you consider them under a coach connect? I would. Because how many of the superstar coaches were discount coaches? Right? How many of you guys watching right now were discount coaches and now you want to build your business? So I would keep them on your coach list and connect with them. You can treat them like a customer, but build that relationship. Does that make sense? By the way, customers are potential coaches too. So 
Christy says, oh, I already did that one. Kristen says, what happens in the system if you missed a, miss a couple of days or have a week or more when you don't get to do the daily connects list? Does it keep them on your list or what happens to them if you don't get it done that day? Your list basically, Kristen, just stays there until you work it, okay? Um, but however, remember that people will come back after a period of time. So if you stopped for 30 days, then all your fives are gonna be on your list again, if that makes sense. So um, what it doesn't do is stack up to become overwhelming. People stop using systems like this when they feel overwhelmed. So we've tried to make it as simple as possible and taken away all the things that would make you feel that way, if that makes sense. Now, here's the other thing I wanna tell you on that, Kristen, before I move on, because it's important. If you miss a day, and let's say you're doing 10 a day, and you miss a day, you wanna do 20, fine. You miss two days, you wanna do 30, fine. But just because you missed a week, you went on vacation, doesn't mean you need to come back and do 100. Okay, it's like if you're doing 21 day fix, does, do you need to, and you missed a week, do you need to do seven workouts on Sunday? No, right? You, you kill yourself doing that. Now, the other thing is, does 21 day fix work if you just do seven workouts every Sunday? No. So there's two things going on. One is don't kill yourself if you miss a few days, but the most important thing is that you do a little bit every day. The compound effect of doing this daily is where you're going to really see your business blow up. Okay. All right. When doing your follow-ups, do you tell them each time that you will check back tomorrow? I, I don't usually, just the first time. Just the first time. Is there a way to adjust the follow-up date without logging additional connect? We did that one. What if you have exhausted all leads? That's a great question, anonymous viewer. Okay, so how did you exhaust them? Did you, did you murder them? I'm not trying to be a smart ass, honestly, maybe a little bit. But guys, the point is that people, when you talk to people, they're not, most of them aren't gonna be ready to do anything. Your job is just to make their day. So if you're already at this point, anonymous, where you feel like you've exhausted your leads, now you need to go back through all the people you know, and instead of talking to them about Beachbody, check in on them and try to make their day. And if you were really hardcore, on asking, you kind of pounded people, maybe you start with a confession, like, hey man, I'm sorry if I came on strong, I just want to check in and see how things are going, right? Okay, you're gonna be, people are gonna be excited to hear from you and see that you care about them. Dawn says, I think I remember seeing their suggestions for what to say to people, but I don't remember where to find that. So right now it's on the promote page, guys, but like I said, next week it'll be right on the dashboard. Kristen says, is there any sort of email autoresponder type function with this? No, there is not. All right, so Kristen, I really want to answer. Kristen, you're my girl tonight. I just want you to know, Kristen, you better friend me on Facebook because I'm answering a lot of your questions, so we need to be friends. Okay, there's not an autoresponder. Now, we are building an email functionality in here to make it really easy to send off emails, and we are going to build a mass email um, functionality in here. Here's the thing, guys. I know the return on investment on autoresponder emails. Flow. Now, does that mean you shouldn't do it? No, it's great. It's easy. Do it. You know, but focus on the relationships first. We'll get one eventually. We just know it's not as important as this, as what we're doing here. Does that make sense? Okay. Uh, Janina. I know I didn't say that right, but I, but I think your name looks really cool. Already done the whole uploading my contact list from Facebook and email when I started a couple months ago, but just started using reusing again. So what should I do? Re-upload the whole thing or should I add one by one? I would upload the whole thing again. It's only gonna put the new people in and it's gonna be a lot faster than one by one. Gina. I'm glad you got it, Gina. I give Gina a hard time because we're on the same coaching team and I love you to death, Gina. You're still on the call. Hey girl. Katie says, when doing your follow-ups, do you tell them you will check back tomorrow each time? Oh, I already answered that one. Is there any plan in the future to add an option to upload files or documents to a connect? For example, if, okay, that's a great idea um, to attach a document to their record. I like that idea. Uh, is it possible? Yeah. And I'll definitely share it with the team as something maybe as for a future enhancement. Stacy says, I'm getting an error message when I try to email from Teamsy. Okay, so probably, Stacy, you haven't set up your Gmail account yet. You have to connect your Gmail account first. So you can go to um, the promote page to do that. You can also do it in settings. Okay, 
If, if that doesn't work for you, click the help button on the bottom right and the guys will help you do it. Um, Kristen says, I have had ACEO for a few years and open to something new. How would you compare Teamsy with ACEO or do you even know about it? Yes, I do know about it. And here's the thing I'll tell you. ACEO is a great program. It's just a different philosophy. It's a different philosophy for doing business. It's more about transactional approach versus relational approach. It's about making sales instead of making friends and relationships. So um, as a coach, I saw that product and I was like, that's not going to suit me. It doesn't do what I want. It, it doesn't drive me to connect with people. It doesn't drive me to relate to people. Um, it's more passive setting up email campaigns, things like that. So, I mean, you know, I'm not here to denigrate that product. I just want you to know it's different. It's a different approach to doing this business, if that makes sense. Red Williams says, thank you for your time. I signed up for the trial. Life happened. Never even used it. Single mama six. Need this badly. Oh, Red, we already talked about this. So you're going you're gonna to send a help desk message and ask for, ask for that. Great. Eva, is there going to be a way to click on each circle so it takes you directly to that tab? Um, for example, if I click on prospects, it will give me all the prospects I just connected with. Eva. I'm going to answer this right now and tell you no. The reason why is because last thing I want you to do is click away from the dashboard where I want you connecting with people. Now you can get that that list by clicking here. I'm, wait, I'm going to share my screen. Hold on a second. I lost control of my phone call. I'm going to share my screen, Eva, and show you how to do it. If you're still here, on your dashboard you click this button, Activity History. And uh, the first time you load it, I haven't looked at it today, it takes a second to load it the first time and then it loads really fast. It's gonna show you everybody you connected with. Okay, so now it's coming in right now. Let's see how I'm doing, I got 2,000. Those are my all-time connects this year, pretty good. Look, so here's my activity history. Let me scroll this up so you can see it. Okay, so you can see there's my activity history. It goes day by day by day, okay? All right, but I like the idea in general of those circles being clickable, but you, that's why we won't do it is because I don't want you to go, oh, and, and get distracted. The dashboard is for you to be focused on connecting and making people stay. Kristen says, what are the promote and business tabs on the dashboard? So business gives you some statistics on your business, how you're doing. Um, it'll, that's where you're gonna track your income and also gives you that activities report that we just talked about. And promote is, um, it's where you send emails and it gives you all the different, um, the promote page is getting redone right now, but it's where you send the emails and it's where you get all the scripts and stuff right now. Bobby says, okay, so you do Instagram. So, do, so you do Instagram like you do Facebook. Got it. Thank you. Okay. We got that one already. We already answered that one. Taryn says, if you need to update or tweak your why, how do you go about doing that? Great question. Let me show you. It's really super easy. Okay, so when you're on your dashboard, Taryn, your dashboard teensy, get with it, there we go. You can do a couple of things. You can just click on my Y right here, just click on my Y, and it brings you back to that page in the setup wizard, and you can go in and change it, okay? And then when you click continue on that page, it saves it, and then you can skip out of the wizard at that point. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Um, you can, that's the easiest way to do it. You can also do it by, by starting the setup wizard again. That's the easiest way to do it. Okay. Can you add contacts from Instagram or your followers? Bobby asks. Yes, you can. Absolutely, and you should. But it doesn't export as easy as Facebook does. You're going to have to create a list or add them one by one. Amy says, will I be able to listen to this again, please? I'm not moving as quick, but loving Teensy. Amy, I'm sorry. I know I've been going super fast. Yes, it, we're recording tonight, and I will put the link up on the – you guys will all get the link emailed to you if you're here but I will also put the link on the Facebook page tomorrow. Jen says, hey, this is my friend Jen. Hi, Jen. When I use the app, I'm in Teamsy, then back to Facebook, then back to Teamsy. You have to re-log into Teamsy. Jen, if you have an iPhone, just use the double tap on the, home, on the home button to toggle between the apps, toggle back and forth. Does that make sense? And I think you can do something similar on, a, on an Android. But yeah, you don't want to just hit the button because it, it's going to, it's designed to make you log in so you get a fresh session when you come back to it. But if you toggle, just toggle back and forth, you can do that. Okay. You should probably have been driving you crazy. T 
Tina says, what is your Facebook team page? Um, I've been talking about the team page, which is a page in, in Teamsy. So that's this page. And the team page has all your lists, has your prospects, your customers, your coaches, your follow-ups. Everybody's on this list. This is your team, your whole team, your whole tribe. So that's what I've been talking about. Not, I mean, it's not really Facebook other than there are Facebook friends in there. Okay, what is the Facebook Teamsy group? Are you guys looking at my Are you guys looking at my Facebook page? <laughs> when I toggle to it, is that what's happening? That's a private group. Sorry, guys, you can't join it. That's just my partners and I. What if I have two Facebook accounts? Put them both in, Brandon. That's cool. Put them both in. So if your husband and wife working together, hey, here's something that's cool, guys. Let me just show you something. Actually, remember how we had that that download happening? Let me show you this. It's kind of cool. I'm gonna open it up first. Oh, it's still being downloaded. Okay, it's bandwidth issues. When you do an import, guys, you can select advanced imports, little toggle. So Brandon, if you, let's say you and your bride are both gonna import your Facebook into one account because you're working the business together, you can tag it. So you can put Brandon's Facebook friends and you can put your wife's Facebook friends as tag so that every single person is tagged. Yes, I know, it's pretty awesome. Lexi says, what does four and five mean? What's the default follow-up? Okay, so the default follow-up is based on their number rank, which I'm gonna click this question mark to show you. Here's the ranking system. A five-star person, someone most likely to become a customer or coach, or an existing coach or coach or customer that's a rock star. They show up every 30 days. Four stars every 60 days, three stars every 90 days, two stars every 120 days. One stars have no default follow-up. Okay, and it's not really a default follow-up, it's default connect. Does that make sense? So the stars determine how often they show up on those connect lists on who's up next. Okay. Life changed. I love that, thanks Megan. Chad says, can you email directly from Teamsy? Yes, you can. Currently to email, you have to go to the promote page. However, you will be able to email directly from the dashboard and from their contact records next week. That's part of the, the update that's coming next week. We don't have a Facebook group, but we do have an online community, guys, and it's, you go to university right here, and you'll see the online community. Or you can click on this feedback button up here and that'll take you to the online community too. Did you say there's an Android app? No, it's a mobile website. You can get it on your Android phone by going to Chrome, going to teamz.com. All right, so there is not, people are asking about the Facebook group. I know other, other um, things have a Facebook group for members. We don't have that. We do have an online community built into the site. You get it through the university tab. Amy says, is there, is there a way when entering a sale the commission will automatically go in? Um, Amy, here's what's gonna happen in the near future. You aren't gonna put, um, when you're gonna enter sales for people, it's gonna just be to keep track of who you sold to, but you're gonna get commissions by uploading your commissions report from Beachbody. That's happening in the near future. Uh, I don't know exactly when that'll be done, but definitely, probably before Thanksgiving, that'll be ready. How come you're so smart? Shana asks, how come you're so smart? Can you ship me some of the mail? Girl, I'm sending it to you over the interwebs right now. You can have it all. You can have it all. It's not me. It just flows through me to you. The source is much higher than me. Okay, Christy says, what if you have two Facebook accounts? Can you link both? Yes. Well, you can't link them. You can upload them. This, just to clarify, this does not link with Facebook. Facebook doesn't allow anybody to link with them anymore. You have to export from Facebook, import into Teamsy. I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of duplicates, so that's why I'm just deleting. Okay, Liz says, uh, are there plans in the future to implement a weekly activity tracker similar to the daily activity tracker, Shaco workout, et cetera, et cetera? Liz, why don't you do me a favor? Send a help ticket with exactly what you're thinking idea-wise to us so that we can see what you're talk, thinking about and we can discuss it as a team. 
Okay, Kristen says, so for my, how am I doing on, I got 72 opened. Okay, we got 20 more still so far. So for my page likes, since I can't export those people from Facebook, I could one by one enter them to Teamsy as new contacts. Do I have that right? Or do I have to put them into a CSV file then import them? Okay, Kristen, you can do either one of those things. I would recommend putting them into a CSV file and importing them and making somebody else do it for you. <laughs> All right. About to have my first baby. Congratulations, congratulations, excited. We're about to have our fourth. Wanna make sure I'm, I am most importantly not feeling guilty for taking a break from working if I need to and enjoying that time I won't ever get back. That being said, I plan on taking a break from working. What tips on using Teamsy so I can organize my follow-up so I don't feel overwhelmed? I know you sort of answered this, but not to be too blunt, my new baby is and should be more important in this business. And maybe other huge events in life, you know, sudden serious family illness, death, birth in my case, what would be your take on this? Okay, this is a great question. First of all, you're gonna have time to do a little bit on your business, always. Your baby takes a nap, you know, whatever the case may be, you're gonna have a little bit of time. This isn't gonna take massive time to do. But here's what I will tell you guys. If something comes up in your life that is dramatic, when you're a business owner, you can't walk away from your business. You can't stop, you lose your momentum. But what you can do is do what we call just keep one oar in the water. You just keep one oar in the water. You just do a little bit. Just reach out to a few people every day. Just stay on top of your hottest, your hottest follow-ups, okay? But never stop. It's just like your nutrition and your fitness. Like maybe you kind of, you just gotta move your body a little bit still. You still just gotta keep one, a little bit of churn going in your business. Now, here's the thing I will tell you. A lot of people out there with new babies and they're going to relate to you. They're going to want to connect with you. You're going to have a lot to talk about. It's going to be an awesome time to connect with people. Okay. It's going to be an awesome time to connect with people and you can have your baby next to you, your laptop on your lap or your phone and you can do stuff and it's going to be great. Okay. All right. Laura says, is it more important to connect with current friends or keep adding and connecting with new friends? If I had 10 friends a day and message them, I never get to the others. Okay, first of all, Laura, you're amazing. 10 people a day, that is amazing. Both are important. Both are important. Okay? You need fresh water constantly. You need to be introducing new people always, of course. But you also need to be deepening other relationships. Okay? So if you're adding 10 people a day and messaging them, you should still be turning through your list too. So just, you know, if you're that good about adding people, Add, then do five more connects. If these people already know you, they already know you. Don't, they're, they're more likely than anybody you're meeting, so definitely don't ignore them. Charlene says, thanks so much for this. May you please, may you please share once more how we can access the scripts when they go live. <laughs> All right, guys, let me show you one more time for Charlene. You're not going to be able to miss this. Okay, hold on a second. I can't see anything because I have too many things open. Uh, here it is. This is the this is the test server that I'm displaying. My partners are going to be like, you showed the test server? We haven't even finished that, but it's going to be like this. The scripts button will be right here. See it? Cool, right? And when you go in here, you find your scripts. Look, you want to write a greeting card? Bam. Here's some ideas to get a card started. Eh, you guys are gonna love it. And you can create a new script by just clicking that new script button, create your new script, and save it in there. It's gonna be so great, okay. There you go, Charlene. So polite. Mark says, my two-year-old woke up right when you were talking about an email responder. Was that a yes or no? No, Mark, we do not have an email responder at this point, okay? And um, we may put an email responder in there eventually. It's not a high priority for us because we know that it's compared to connecting with people one-on-one, -on -one, it's a low return on investment activity that distracts. So we may put it in there because it's not a bad thing. I mean, it doesn't hurt, but at the same time, if I were to tell you guys, you know, the call, this call was how to slay your business less than an hour a day. If you had less than an hour a day, I would be connecting with people. That's what I want you guys to do. Debbie says, when I first log into my account, the setup wizard is always shown first. I've already set up and begun using this for a few weeks. Am I missing something? Um, you just need to dismiss it. That's weird. 
Huh. Debbie, do me a favor. Send a help desk ticket. I haven't heard about that one before. Send a help desk ticket through um, so that the techie guys can look at that. Mark says, can I set up groups, i.e. challenge free, free account, um, free, et cetera? Yes, you use tags for that, Mark. Use tags for that. Just create a tag and the tags become groups. Okay, let me just show you guys. So if I go to my team page, you can see all the tags that I created right here. So like, boom, everyone that's in the 20, you know, or, or I have like a, a challenge group. <laughs> one person in that challenge group. Let me go to an older challenge group and see. Here's one, March. January 11th, that was a good one. So here's a challenge group. Everyone in that challenge group is listed in that group because they're tagged with it, okay? So that's how you can do that kind of stuff. It's kind of cool. And you can also tag lists as you import them. There's all kinds of cool stuff you can do. Okay, Mom Life is calling me and I have to go, but you are the best. I adore you. Thank you for your time. You're a superstar and I hope you know it. So that's from Lauren. Lauren, thanks. You won't ever see this because you left, but you're the bomb. Charlene says, thanks so much for this. Oh, I did that already. Taryn, will the scripts be available for mobile as well? They will be available for mobile, but not immediately, okay? Because it takes a little bit more work. Is there a way to delete a connect if you accidentally log into the wrong person? And thank you, Jen, for asking that. Yes, there's a way to delete a connect. Absolutely. So you just go to activity feed, and when you hover, see it has an edit or a delete. That's it. You said this recording will be available on Facebook. I would like to send it to my success partner to view. Yes, you, Tina, you'll get it tomorrow. When I, this is a long haul. Where are we? We're an hour and a half already. It's going to take a while for it to render, and then um, we'll post it on Facebook once I have it. We'll put it on our YouTube channel, and then we'll put the link on there. Stacy says, is there a way to search for people other than their name? No, there's not. Not yet. Advanced search is on the list. Right now, you can only search by name. If you have an Instagram handle and you don't have a name, you can put that in their name and search by it. Tina says, will this recording be accessible without being on Teams? And yes. It's going to be on YouTube and on Facebook. Brennan says, you said two Facebook accounts. How do you separate them in Teams? You do it by tagging them. Okay, you put a tag on them. And then when you're in, when you're looking, so check this out. Am I still sharing my screen? I am. Check this out, Brandon. When I'm looking at somebody like Megan, who I just added, how funny. If I go to, um, if I go to details, it's going to show all my tags for her. See how I tagged her webinar attendees? So if you had a tag in there saying like Brandon's Facebook friends or whatever, if I wanted to know who is this person, I go to details, I could see what list it's from. Okay. See, how am I doing on questions? Oh, I'm almost at the end. Is there a way to delete a connect if you accidentally log? I did that already. Okay, great. How do I, how do you upload your exported contacts? My apologies. Okay, so the easiest way to do an upload, Amanda, is you go to team and you click import and you click import contacts. Okay, and then you just choose the file that you're uploading. In fact, did my thing finish? Facebook friends. No, it's still downloading. See, I think I'm just killing the bandwidth tonight. Okay. This is really blowing my mind. Thank you for this, Hannah says. Good, I'm glad. Okay. And then Amanda says, import contacts on an Excel sheet. So it's exactly what I just showed you. You go to this page. It needs to be a .csv file. So if it's Excel, open it up and save as .csv. Now, the thing I want to I want to tell you guys, because it's such a common mistake with coaches, is that they don't have first and last names separated into two columns. Make sure they're separated into two columns before you import them. Andrea says, thank you so much for this. Mind blown. This is exactly what I needed. XOXO, back to you. Can you search by tags? Yes. Well, you can't search by tags, but when you go to your team page, you just click on the tag you want and it brings you that whole group. Okay, it brings you that whole group. So whoever the group is, you get the whole group. Oh, and you can also search by tags like this. Like I could do 21 day fix and I could do Shakeology HD and then that would cross reference everyone with both of those tags. 
So that's kind of cool. Andrea, I can't show you how to connect my Gmail because I've already done it. But if you go to the promote page, you'll see right here, it'll be, oh, I got an error, it's great. It's probably because of my internet connection. If you go to this page though, it will uh, show you how to do it, okay? That was easy, she says, thank you. You're welcome, Amanda. Heather says, if I imported my lists, and some of my prospects are not actual friends. Oh, I imported my list of my prospects and actual friends. When I search them on Facebook, we are not friends. Do you know why this would be? Heather, I do. Especially if you signed up before June, like June or earlier. Um, Facebook dumps a whole bunch of people on your list when you export it. Friend requests, incoming and outgoing, deleted friends, and followers. It dumps them all on your list. So those people are gonna be somewhere in that list. If you get to people like that, you can just delete them by jump, dumping them in the trash can. Now, those of you guys who are signing up tonight, those will be filtered out because we've now figured out those were there and we filtered them out. But if you've been using Teams with you for a few months, you're probably at the point in your list where you're like, there's 20 people I don't know here. So you can just delete them or fire messages off. You never know. But that's where they came from. Tina says, this is awesome. Thank you, Rick. You are so welcome. Mark says, this rocks. Awesome. Hey, one last question. This literally is... My last question, how do you export from Facebook in order to import into Teamsy? So there's a video on this um, in your setup wizard, but it is super easy. This is how you do it. I'm just gonna show you guys because it's so easy. Wait, I need to go to Facebook. Okay, so on Facebook, you go to this little down arrow. It has to be on the, it has to be on the internet Facebook, not your app. And you go to um, settings right there. This is so easy. And click download a copy of your Facebook data. That's it. And it'll send you an email um, telling you they're downloading it. it. Takes about 15 minutes and then you get another email with a link to download. Here's the thing I will tell you. Check your primary email address and make sure it's current or you won't get you'll never get those emails. Okay. Awesome. I think oh, you guys snuck in more questions. I thought I was done. Thought I was done. What about different programs in Shakeology? Yeah, you should ta tag all those up, Brandon. Tag them. Tag all that stuff. This has been great. As soon as this webinar a month ago, I did my 30-day free trial. Great stuff. Thank you so much. Makes sense now. Good, Andrea. I'm glad. Christine says, I've been using Teamsy a little over a month and love it. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, how did we come up with the name Teamsy? Because it's all about creating a team and, you know, like when you like something, you give it a nickname like Teamsy, like Puffy, like Kitty, right? So we just thought we wanted it to have the spirit of something that's fun and not something that's like, this is the business building software you're going to hate, but you have to use. You know what I mean? So that's kind of how we came up with that. Okay, you guys, I'm really excited. Thank you, guys. I can't wait to read the 173 messages in the chat, but right now I need to go back to my family, and you guys need to go to bed. Thank you for coming. Appreciate you guys. Use TMZ. Share it with your team. Use it for free. Make someone's day tomorrow. Talk to you soon.